Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the next part in my bookshelf tour. So this is part four. We are going to be looking at this shelf right here, which is a fourth from the top and there are three shelves underneath it. So that sort of gives you an idea of where we are. I will film in front of the bookshelves after this one for the next three shelves. I'll probably show you the overview and then film somewhere else just because it gets a little bit tricky to film the further down I go on the bookshelves because yeah there's not a lot of space around me. All right so I'm going to cut to a really quick close-up overview of this shelf and then I will start pulling books off and talking to you about them. Time for an overview of bookshelf four. So this is what it looks like. Overall this is the fourth out of seven shelves so far. So we have a candle. These are just some sunglasses that are not prescription so I only use them if I'm just sort of sitting outside and I don't need to travel anywhere because sometimes I like to be able to see. Those are some playing cards from Finale which I got in a subscription box. In here I just have a whole bunch of little bits and pieces that I've collected, some gorgeous feathers, some props that I've made. I think there might be some pens, there are some bookmarks in there too. Another tin of all my craft pens and the books. All right so I've moved the lighting a little bit so hopefully I won't get all that horrible glare off my glasses the whole way through this video but I yeah it's kind of hard to work in this space. The first book on my shelf is Into the Drowning Deep by Myra Grant which is a urban fantasy horror type story. Essentially it is about the a group of people who went off to film a document a mockumentary in the Mariana Trench about killer mermaids and then everyone on that ship disappeared and so seven years later a second crew we sent out to find out exactly what happened to everyone and it is delightfully creepy. The next three books are my Jane Harper books. So there is The Dry, Force of Nature and The Lost Man and Jane Harper is an Australian crime writer who I absolutely adore. Her writing is beautiful. There is Nicole Hayes' A Shadow's Breath which was actually one of the very first book events that I ever went to so it is signed and personalized to me. This is a Love Oz Wire contemporary book. What I Like About Me by Jenna Giam who which is another Love Oz Wire contemporary book with a really great body positive message. It is fantastic and I highly recommend it. This is Shyness by Leanne Hall. The Ghost Child by Sonia Hartnett. There is The Ghost Child by Sonia Hartnett which is a book that I have owned for years and I probably need to reread it because I'm very very vague on the details except that it was very atmospheric and I loved it enough to keep it clearly. Next up I have two middle grade books by Alex Gino because Alex Gino does amazing work. There is George which is about a transgender girl trying to find her place. George is set in well just before middle school I think. I get confused with the way North Americans do their schooling because our primary school goes all the way up to grade six so I think this might be grade three or grade four for them and George is trying to get the lead role of Charlotte in the school play Charlotte's Web except she's told that she can't apply for the role because she is a boy and Charlotte is a girl. George knows who she is but sort of the rest of the world doesn't yet and it is a gorgeous exploration of acceptance and friendship and it's just beautiful. And then Rick is connected to George. It takes place I think in middle school and Rick was someone that George knew in her primary school or elementary school and was possibly not very accepting and yet in this book Rick is on his own journey to sort of discover his own identity and so where George has transgender rep Rick has asexual rep which was fantastic. They're really really good books, very easy to read well worth checking out. Then we have the Caraval series by Stephanie Garber. I have all the UK editions including one of the special editions from Fairy Loot. I know not everyone really likes this series. I really do. It's a YA fantasy romance series and it was just fun. Book one is Caraval and I love these books because they do have the designs under the dust jacket. Legendary is book two and Finale is book three. Then we have The Ten Thousand Doors of January which is a portal doorway story. It's it's historical, it's beautifully written, it's very reminiscent for me of Erin Morgenstern's type of writing and I just I really enjoyed it. It won't be for everyone because it's one of those sort of slow meandering stories but I really appreciated it. Then I have the first two books in Jack Heath's Timothy Blake series which is an adult crime series featuring a uh, cannibal 
so beware of that going into it. There is Hangman, which is book one, and Hunter, which is book two, and I think book three is coming out. Either has come out or is coming out, I can't remember. There is The Build-Up Season by, Make it, by Megan Jacobson. This is a Love Oswaye story. I have Still Life with Tornado by A.S. King. I've read a couple of A.S. King books, but I've kept this one because I did get to meet her and she has signed and personal, personalised and decorated the title page for me on this book. I have my Bridget Kemmerer uh, A Curse So Dark and Lonely books. So this all started very unexpectedly when I first received an arc of A Curse So Dark and Lonely from Bloomsbury and I love this arc. I will never ever get rid of it because it is so shiny. Then I received a hardback edition of it. I can't remember whether I'd pre-ordered this or whether it came in a subscription box. I have a feeling it may have come in a subscription box. So I do have the hardback edition of the first book and then Bloomsbury very kindly also sent me a review copy of Heart So Fierce and Broken which was the second book. So I have both books and I will continue to read the series. It is a young adult fantasy Beauty and the Beast retelling with portal doorways and a kick-ass female character in the first book. I really enjoy the series. I will continue to read it. I also have the Splintered series by AJ Howard which is a short story collection and then three novels. These are Alice in Wonderland retellings. So there is Untamed which has stories that bracket the series. Splintered is book is the first novel. Unhinged is book two and Ensnared was book three. Now I have not reread these in a while but I did really enjoy them as Alice in Wonderland retellings. And then we have Christine Lynn Herman's Devouring Grey duology. So book one is the Devouring Grey and I adore this cover. It is just stunning. And then the Deck of Omens. And I don't know why they didn't make this one nice and shiny like this one. YA, urban fantasy, monsters in the woods. I think I did prefer book one to book two. I think book two had an okay wrap up to the series, but I think don't think it lived up to the tension that was built in book one. So... Yes. All right, and the final books on my shelf are the start of my Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff collection with the Illuminae files. So I have Memento, which is the prequel novella that came as a special edition release with their next series. And I'm so glad that I have a copy of it. Book one in the Illuminae files is Illuminae. Then you have Gemina and Obsidio. And these are all bricks of books. These are all Love Oz YA science fiction adventure stories set in space. They are told in multimedia form. You will have heard lots about them because I talk about them all the time. Lots of people talk about them because they are mixed media. They're fun. The audiobooks are awesome for this series and they're just a really great adventure series. So that is Bookshelf 4. Stay tuned possibly for next week when I will do Bookshelf 5 which will continue the Amy Kaufman and Joe Kristoff trend because we are going alphabetically. In the comments below let me know if you have read any of these books or if you're planning to in the future. I hope that wherever you are in the world you are having a wonderful day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.